podcast 104, Why Birds Are Unique, is composed and framed in ISBN 9781-63848-2123, is also featured in publication 199. From time immemorial, through the annals of history lens, global citizens have been including birds in both economic uses such as food and symbolic uses such as art, music, and religion conversation. This statement implies birds are unique. This conversation is very compelling because research has shown how historically economic uses birds have been hunted for food since philothic times. They have been captured and bred as poultry to provide meat and eggs since at least the time of ancient Egypt. Some species have been used to help locate or to catch food as with cormorant fishing and the use of honey guides. Feathers have long been used for bedding as well as for quill pens and for fletching arrows. Today, many species face habitat loss and other threats caused by humans. Bird conservation groups work to protect birds and to influence governments to do so. Birds have appeared in the mythologies and religions of many cultures since ancient summer. For example, the dove was the symbol of the ancient Mesopotamian goddess Ayana, the Canaanite mother goddess Asherah, and the Greek goddess Aphrodite. Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom, had a little owl as her symbol and in ancient India. The peacock represented Mother Earth. Birds have often been seen as symbols whether bringing bad luck and death, being sacred or being used in heraldry. In terms of entertainment, raptors have been used in falconry, while caged birds have been kept for their song. Other birds have been raised for the traditional sports of cockfighting and pigeon racing. Bird watching, too, has grown to become a major leisure activity. Birds feature in a wide variety of art forms, including in painting, sculpture, poetry, and prose, film, and fashion. Birds also appear in music as well as traditional dance and ballet. In certain cases, such as the bird and flower painting of China, birds are central to an artistic genre. It should be noted that birds are a group of warm-blooded vertebrates, constituting the class Aves, characterized by feathers, toothless, beak jaws, the laying of hard-shell eggs, a high metabolic rate, a four-chambered heart, and a strong yet lightweight skeleton. Birds were able to become flying machines, largely through the evolutionary gifts of feathers, powerful wings, hollow bones, a warm blood, a remarkable respiratory system, and a large, strong heart. Their body shape is different from humans because A, their bones are hollow, B, they have feathers, and C, a beak. Birds live worldwide and range in size from the 5.5 centimeter or 2.2 inches bee hummingbird to the 2.8 meter, which is 9 feet 2 inches ostrich. There are about 10,000 living species more than half of which are passerine or perching birds. Birds have wings whose development varies according to species. The only known groups without wings are the extinct mona and elephant birds. Wings which evolve from four limbs give birds the ability to fly, although further evolution has led to the loss of flight in some birds, including penguins and diverse endemic island species. The digestive and respiratory systems of birds are also uniquely adapted for flight. Some bird species of aquatic environments, particularly seabirds and some water birds, have further evolved for swimming. Now that I have established context, given the logistics and specifics of this conversation, I have composed and framed the conversation Why Birds Are Unique with a close-up view of the Barbados bullfinch and the hummingbird as the subject. The underlying reason and the selection for these two birds are simple. Daily, for the past 10 years, I became very fascinated at the frequency at which these birds among 
other birds have been navigating and pervading the precincts of Thoresby Bridgetongue Barbados. The hummingbird's bill since it is longer in proportion to its body as compared to other birds. Through the lens of research, hummingbirds have no sense of smell, but can hear better than humans. Hummingbirds are attracted to all bright colors, although red is most prominently associated with these tiny birds. They are known as hummingbirds because of the humming song created by their beaten wings which flap at high frequencies audibly to humans. They hover in mid-air to rapid wing flapping rates, which vary from around 12 beats per second in the largest species to an excess of 80 in some of the smallest. Hummingbirds have tongues that have grooved like the shape of a W. They have tiny hairs on their tongues to help them lap up nectar, similar to cat. A hummingbird's bill is longer in proportion. Hummingbirds see in ultraviolet light and they can see further than a human. Hummingbirds have a great memory. They remember every flower and feeder they've been to and how long it will take a flower to refill. Their brains make up 4.2% of their body weight. They have the largest brains of the wild brain group. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly up, down, sideways, forwards and backwards and are the second largest family of birds with over 300 species. Hummingbirds have weak feet. They mainly use them just for perching. When food is scarce and they are fatigued, hummingbirds go into a hibernation-like state, also known as a torpor, to conserve energy. A baby hummingbird is roughly the size of a penny and is unable to fly. The average lifespan is five years, but they have been known to live for more than 10 years. Hummingbirds fly at an average speed of 25 to 30 miles per hour and are able to dive at a speed of up to 50 miles per hour. Some hummingbirds will travel over 2,000 miles twice a year during their migration. A hummingbird's heart beats up to 1,260 times per minute. Hummingbirds do not mate for life. The Barbados bullfinch was previously considered a subspecies of the lesser Antillean bullfinch, which is found on neighboring islands. The Barbados bullfinch is a small bird, 14 to 15 centimeters, 5.56 inches. The upper parts are a dark olive gray. The wings are mostly brown, on the parts are grayish, while the upper tail coverts are tawny. The Barbados bullfinch is found only on the island of Barbados. Barbados's bullfinches construct a globular nest with a side entrance in a tree or shrub and are extremely innovative and tame birds. Overall, as an author, cinematographer, media arts specialist, licensed cultural practitioner and publisher, the Barbados bullfinch and hummingbird are birds. They are warm-blooded vertebrates, constituting the class A, characterized by feathers, toothless beak jaws, the laying of hard shell eggs, a high metabolic rate, a four-chambered heart, and a strong yet lightweight skeleton. This intellectual conversation was very compelling and interesting because research has shown why birds are unique, was composed and framed in two chapters, 249 pages, and verbalized in ISBN 9781 63848 212